Hello friends and welcome back to To Restore You. It's Angela and I am here to kind of follow up on uh, Wednesday's Wallpaper Wednesday video, which if you uh, have not seen that, hop over. I'll be sure to uh, link that in the description box as well. Uh, but I was doing some master boards inspired by Laureate Enchanted uh, Dream 71 and Sheila at Boho Daydreaming. And I finished them. They're all dry. I wanted to show you how they how they turned out. And then I thought we would just have a little play. I've got all kinds of things spread all over my uh, desk. So <laughs> um, I'm anxious to kind of start working on these. Now, I want to flip through these and, you know, show you how they turned out. And then we'll kind of work on them and I'll kind of give you my first blush ideas of what I might do with all of these. But before we do that... Thank you all of you who have subscribed to the channel, those of you who have been around for a while and those who are new. Specifically today, welcome Karen Owens and Miss Crafty Mama. I like saying that. Uh, welcome and thanks for your comments. I appreciate you. So here is, uh, here's what I got. I don't even know how many pages. I'm pretty sure I got them all. Uh, so this is the first one. I love this. This was with, the, with that napkin. Uh, the gold foil is, the verdict's still out on how I feel about that. I still have it all over. I've swept twice down here and it's still kind of a mess. But it does do a lot to enhance the page. Uh, you can see where we use the, uh, the, the mediums on there, you know, um, the different texture mediums. Um, I did some embossing. I didn't do much embossing. I know Sheila did a lot, but... I wasn't feeling it that day. This one is not one of my favorites, uh, but I did do some, I used the texture paste and did some stenciling on this particular one, and that's kind of cool. The, the cool part is that it just feels so nice because we've used embossed papers and we've used the gesso. Um, this one, I, I think it bled a little bit, actually, and it's just not one of my favorites. Um, this one I love. And again, I did, these are the cherry blossoms. I did a little bit of that on there. Um, some stamping. I did do some stamping after the fact. So there's that one. This one's just kind of subtle. It's got some more of the embossing or the um, stencil with texture paste. And I really like how that turned out. Um, this one, eh, on the fence with. Uh, this was a real modern wallpaper in the background. I do think it will be one, I'll put this up here, because I do think it's one we can kind of embellish and make it less modern um, by doing some embellishing. This is another one of those with that napkin, and it just kind of kind of bled a little bit. So there's that one. I love this one. This one might have to go in a sew sewing journal. Speaking of sewing, I have to tell you, uh, this Sunday I will debut... Uh, my first open collaboration that I am hosting and calling Sewing Notion Sunday. And it was kind of inspired because I had a couple things I was going to do, but I had all these sewing notions, notions you know, everything, you know, us, uh, pins, safety pins, um, bobbins, um, what else? I had spools of thread, um, anything you can imagine for sewing. And so I thought, you know, I need to use some of these. And so I had put together um, in one of my little project kits, probably about 12 different uh, sewing notion projects that I wanted to do. And I thought, well, I bet everybody has, you know, a bunch of stuff just lying around that maybe they're not using for sewing. So why not do an open collaboration? So if you are interested um, please hop on, just use the hashtag Sewing Notion Sunday. And you don't have to do it on Sunday. You can do it anytime you want. And um, please let me know if you are participating and shoot me your information if you're on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. And I'll be sure to give you a shout out and add you to the description box. So I'm excited about that. And that's one of the other reasons I need to get this cleared off my desk because I got all that stuff over there ready to go. This one I did uh, a little more subtly. I didn't do any stamping on it because I don't know how I want to use it yet. But this is for the fairy journal, so it will get set aside. Um, 
This one I really liked. It was a little more Victorian. And all of these were different. Like I didn't, I wasn't doing, <clears throat> doing these because I was doing a sweet pea journal. I just kind of had a little fun creating some masterboards with what I had. Uh, and so with a lot of the techniques that Sheila had, had shared and Lori as well. So those are kind of fun. This one, again, I think this would be fun to do uh, together because it's very, very subtle, very um, simple. There's not much on it. If you remember, if you watched that video, this is the one that had the trees and it was a little bit uh, shiny. And so we'll, we'll play with that one too. And then this was just a piece of paper. It was a pa piece of coffee dyed paper. And really, this was just my kind of, you know, I was off stamping and, you know, it, if I had little pieces and parts that were left over, I just stuck it on that. So that is what we got. <clears throat> These, I think, not this one, <clears throat> excuse me. These, I think I'm going to consider using in some way, shape or form, maybe not this one, um, collectively, because I think I can do something kind of fun with them. And I might not cut them down. I may even put turn, turn these into journal pages because they're about the right size. Now, <clears throat> what I did not do on any of them is I did not back them. I personally like the wallpaper look with the writing on it. Sometimes I cover it, sometimes I don't. But the reason I didn't uh, cover any of these or back any of these is because I think that... <clears throat> You know, I might be putting things like brads or things like that in the back. And I'm not so certain that I want, I, I want everything <clears throat> put together before I actually decide to back it. So that was kind of my thought. All right. Now, what do I have here? Well, let me show you what I did. I did do a sample on the one that I did not like at all. Um, it didn't turn out. A, I used the saltwater taffy and I, it actually looks prettier here, but it's really kind of too bright. So I just had a play, just so you could kind of see. So this is just a little tag I used. This was from, I think what, from a wedding gown maybe, some vintage lace, some trim. This one I did, what happened to my bow? I got all wonky, I'll have to fix that. Just a little button. Um, like I said, I wasn't really a fan of this background. This is some vintage trim and I just added some little pearls on there. Uh, this I made into a pocket with just some tulle and lace and fabric. These are little, I don't even know what you call these. Excuse my hands, I got ink everywhere. But see these things? What do you call those? I don't know. I've got a lot of them. And so when I was digging through for other things, I was like, oh, I'll just pull those out. So that's one of those. This one, this is what Sheila had done like on her cover. And I just wanted to try it and I had them. <laughs> They, the ones that I have, I don't know what hers are like. Mine come with little screws. Well, that was not going to work. So I just used kind of bigger, and this is all I had for brads. So it's not perfect, but it gave me an idea what that might look like. And this is almost like a wire. It's vintage. It's almost like a wire vintage trim. And then I did this one. So now this whole, all of these will go together. So that I have, they all kind of match. So when I stick a, stick them in my <clears throat> done ephemera, I can just um, grab all of them. So which one should we play with? I'm thinking we should play with this one because it's it's pretty modernish, and I'm wondering. I think we should cut this up. Let me measure here. Well, I know. I'll, so if I did, this is eight inches by 12. So I could go down the middle at six. Let's just do that. And I'm going to try to use my trimmer. I probably should use my guillotine, but... It's too far away, and I had my step stool over there because I <laughs> I needed to get to the top to get all a bunch of trims down to use. So we'll just go six. 
And I don't even think, well, I'm, I'm not going to say I won't, but I'm thinking I won't even, I'll just kind of decorate them. What hell is it? It's just a, well, you know what, we're going to shore this up to make it eight because, you know, these were torn from wallpaper books, so they're not all even. Okay, now we're at eight, so let's just do four. Sometimes with this, with all of the texture, it doesn't quite work. Okay, let's make sure. Is that pretty straight? No. I'm going to make this one eight as well. And then down to four. Can you guys see that? I'm... I bumped my camera the other day. And... I don't think I quite have it right back to where it's supposed to be. Put those up there. Okay, so now we have. I gotta cut this off. We have four of these to work with. Kind of like that, like that. This, this one I have a little mistake on. Okay, so we've got these four to work with. What I've got is I've got some dangles. I've got <clears throat> some more dangles and stick pins that I did. I do have um, more of these little thingies. I've got some stick pins that have been, I've had these since probably for 16 years, since Demi was little. I have those little gold things that I talked about. I did find this that I had made quite some time ago. I showed you guys how to make those. I also grabbed a couple of clip-on earrings, which I think I talked about in one of my videos about how to use those um, <clears throat> when we did the the washi and the barrettes. And then over here, I have bunches of lace, bunches of trim. <laughs> it's a mess, I'm telling you. And I have a couple stamps out. I did grab uh, some of my uh, words that I've done. I think there's some cloth ones in there. I don't know that I use those. These are some off stamps that I had. What else? And then behind me, I have a whole another thing of ribbon and such. So, I'm just looking at the back of these. They'll have just a little bit, but these I think would all be okay if I just made them as journal cards and or tags. So, what should we do to zhuzh these up? So, we're using the blue. Let's see. Like, one of these might be cute to use this as the top and turn it into a tag. So, we're going to put that aside. This is a little, this is almost a greeny blue. This, both of those were, um, oh, what do you call it? It's like blanket edging. There's a name for it, but I just cut it in, in half or trimmed all the way down. So I had two pieces instead of one. Um, let's see. We kind of need a focal point. Oh, I did grab out two my, um, my florals. I don't know why I did florals and not birds or something else, but I can always grab the birds. Let's see. I'm going to move this here and then I'll pull it out pieces as we go. This thing's a little bit full. So these are all obviously going to be too bright. This is empty. I don't know what happened to what the, the items that were in it. These are too bright. And some of these might work. <clears throat> oh, what's this over here? I just got this random stack of fl flowery things. I don't think any of those were really... Ooh, this one might. It's a little, a little too big. That perhaps could and make it look a lot more vintage-y. That's just randomly laying there. Let's see if we can use it. Okay. So those... Let's see what else I got. <clears throat> A whole lot of stuff that's never been opened. 
And these are all, I think, I think they're all see-through. This one might have something in it we could use. Do I have anything else? I have these, but that one might work. That one might work, too. They, too, are all clear. Let's see, I have just some random things laying here. <laughs> I Like I said, I have no plan, no idea what we're going to be doing. We're just going to have a play. Right, I think that's enough for right now. Let's just put this all back in here and move it aside. Oh, shoot. I got this. This will be a hot mess. I can tell you already. We'll just see if we can dig in here and get... A stack of a few things. Look at all my poppies. That poppy journal still hasn't happened. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. All right. I'm just going to stop there and then we'll just keep on working. Now, the thing is with these, again, differently than those sweet pea journals is that Mine are going to go into a journal. So where I might do something a lot more um, three-dimensional, I can't really do that quite as much here. So, all right, so this one had an issue. I'm really, I actually kind of like that, almost as a, almost as another pocket. But let's see if we can, I mean, it's pretty blah, just like that. Uh, let's see, what do I have for... I have some of this. That kind of blends right in. <clears throat> I, we're probably only going to get this one done today, so... Oh, here. Kind of soft and pretty. Yes, seriously. I really like this. What if we put this down there? <clears throat> I'm going to leave this out because I really, really do like it. This is really stiff. I don't know. I need to move these up a little bit. I need the space. I do like it up here too, but probably down here. Okay, so there's that. What else can we do to add some bling to it? <clears throat> this needs something. One of these pieces has... I don't know, I don't hate that. Just to kind of give it some added oomph. Okay, I need another piece of, let's try, oh, this kind of puts me over the edge. <laughs> let's just try a piece of this. Uh-oh. Someone's here. The dog is going to bark, possibly. Hmm. What if... What if... That's too much. See, I think these dangles that I have are going to be way too big. pretty heavy, but I could just put it off the side there. 
I'm not loving it. All right, let's just get these, these pieces on there. I can keep adding. Okay. I'm going to let this stick out quite a bit. Like I said, <clears throat> it will be interesting, you know, because normally I might, I would just use my master boards as they are. And <clears throat> sometimes I cut them up. Sometimes I just leave them whole and put them into my ready to decorate ephemera and have it ready. I don't generally decorate it all like we're doing today. So, okay, I feel like I want, let's see if I have, I still don't not. I just like that that kind of, you know what? Stop thinking about it because you're going to move it a million times. Just use it. Just use it, Angela. So I hope you guys are all doing awesome, that something exciting is happening in your world. Let's see. You'll be seeing this tomorrow. I just put that down and I made a mess of it. Um, I don't have much to much to do this weekend and other than helping Landon get ready so I feel like I need something like right there but to help him get ready uh, my whole office is full of well there's a mini fridge and comforters and totes full of all of his goodies and <clears throat> I was just going through it all, his list all again today, and I was like, oh my goodness, kid, you still, there's still stuff you need. So I wrote down more things on his list, no, and kind of talked through that with him, but, you know, boys, like I said before, boys are so much different than girls, it's like, Landon just doesn't get too, too worked up about much. <clears throat> oh, I do have some of this. That might look cool. Let's get some of that. Where is it? <clears throat> the problem is with this. I need to figure it out. I've made this mistake too many times where I put it you know, phrase. So I use that, my lighter and just do the thing. And I have done it where I've already put it on there. And then I'm like, oh shoot, I forgot to fray that. Well, once you get fat, don't do that when you have fabric tack on it. It doesn't really end that well. Okay. I kind of like that. Where's my fabric tack? Let's just get him done. And I'm going to use this as a, another pocket. You know, if nothing else, what I can use these for is um, <clears throat> package toppers for Etsy, too. Just a little something. I can write a note on the back if I want. If they're too thick. Okay, now something needs to happen right here. What is that something? I feel like that's not straight. I think it just looks like that because... Of that lace on there. <laughs> decisions, decisions. What about maybe a, uh, hmm. What about a flower? I've got these flowers. These aren't very big though. I had some bigger ones that I just put away, but they're pretty thick. The other, I used one on the... Oh, 
Okay, I'm not liking those. Hang on. Let's just say we make this into a tag and I can use it for a topper. Oops, I'm losing stuff. We'll see if I can find one of those. Come to mama. This has a little thingy on it. What if we add a little more to the back of that? I'm just taking a couple little things off. Maybe another one. That kind of looks like little petals. And if we did that there, I think we need to take a little distress ink and just kind of tip some of the edges. That looks better. Let's just do it. We're committing. And there we have it. First one's done. It looks a little Victorian. I'm putting quite a bit of glue on that spot. <clears throat> what I should have done is maybe like sprayed this real quick with a coffee dye or, you know, with one of my sprays. I'm just going to go ahead and make this into a tag and then we'll put a pretty. I'm really itching to use that um, satin. <laughs> blanket binding so yeah that's <clears throat> the majority of what I'm doing well Demi right now is getting ready she is going to think of the Ozarks with her besties and <clears throat> one of her best friend's parents and so I'm going to use a different punch uh, which is kind of where is it at Like, I'm kind of sad that she's going because, um, we'll use this one. <clears throat> Here she comes. I hope she knows. I did text her and say, hey, I'm doing a video. Uh, because it's the week before school, and I'm like, oh, you're leaving me, girl. So, should we use this really big? I think so. Our other option is this one, and I think that, like, <clears throat> I didn't get that very straight, did I? Okay, let's go ahead before we start doing that. Let's shore this up, sear it. I think I'm just going to tie this in a nice little, I don't think I'm even going to do a bow. I think I'll just make it like this. Oh my goodness, I like that. Now let me do my little ends here. How much time are we at? 23. We'll have at least... This takes a little bit longer. <clears throat> so I don't know how many we'll get done, but we'll get as done, done as many as we can. Okay, now I have to sear these. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm really excited about my um, open collab because I just... I, there's so many of you out there that have YouTube channels that I watch and, and that you follow me. That one turned out super cute. It reminds me of, remember Nellie from Little House on the Prairie and she wore those big bows? I kind of like it. Okay, we'll set this up here. Let's work on this one with all the words on it. <clears throat> uh, but, I, okay, I got to clean up a little bit. Goodness gracious. What a mess. I don't even know what I was saying. What was I saying? I really like, I like adding the pink in there. I don't like that lavender. So maybe we can do something like that. We've already got this embossed. 
This, I think, needs to come across those words just a smidgy more. And now let's add some pretties to it. And this, I think, I'll just leave as a journal card. What if we add some of this chiffani? I don't even know what this is called. I'm just going to add a couple things. There we go. Make it a little more. I know you can't probably see that. I want it to look frayed. I do have uh, some cheesecloth I could have used. Okay, there's that can be one layer. You can't really see it very much, so we need something else. We got more pink. We have some of this white. I'm just going to keep layering up. I think I want lace of some sort. Mm, that's a possibility. Let me look in, back here and then. Oh, what's this? Um, what about adding, bringing this in somehow to kind of tie it together? I don't know what they're doing, but it's loud. Kind of nice though, you know, I wouldn't change it for anything, right? Because pretty soon all my babies are going to be, <clears throat> let's get this down so it, <clears throat> fly in the coop. All right, I'm thinking maybe we'll just do this as a, We'll leave it this like this and then do something up here. So it could be a journal card and or. Let's get let's get the fab down first. I'm gonna use a little piece of this in there. Why not? That's a nice part about using this. Kind of soaks through. And I don't, I just don't get too persnickety about stuff because if I do, I'm going to be here all day figuring out what I'm going to put down. I just, you know, like I always say, don't overthink it. It's art. <clears throat> if you absolutely hate it, you can tear it apart and do over. And most of the time it ends up turning out just fine. I like that so far. I feel like it needs a little bling. Well, you know what we could do? I'm gonna do one of two things. We could use some, do I have any thick pink ribbon? Mm, I don't think I do. My thought was to make a little bow and like, well, maybe it would just go cute on here. It's good, it's too big. But you know what I mean. Clip it on like that. That's too big, but... Hmm. Let's um, round the corners and see where we're at. I think we might have time for one more. I do like this, this lace. That I've got here. So I think we're just going to cut off this edge. Um, <clears throat> on the day that, it, I don't know what day it was, but it aired on Wednesday, but um, that I was doing my, that I was actually making the master boards. I, um, 
I don't know what is wrong with me today, but I can't remember squat. Like, I can't even remember what I was doing five minutes ago. Let's just try this. Um, let me see. Let's try this. I have no idea if this is going to work. When I was making this, whatever day it was that I did this, which was quite a while ago, um, so all I'm doing is popping this tiny little random vintage earring in here to hold that together. That is cute. But I probably need to... I don't really want to tie it, so I think what I'm going to do is just clip this off, give it a little staple <clears throat> right above it to hold it in place, and then, boom, we'll have that little piece of bling, and that one will be done. I have lots and lots of vintage jewelry, either whether it's either been broken jewelry or jewelry that I have been gifted or whatever. That looks so cute. I love it. Two down. Okay, we'll try to do one more. <clears throat> okay, we did one that was kind of like that. Let's do this one. Um, <clears throat> and I did a lot I, when I was, I was making, I did all my bouquets for the wedding um, and they were all, they were all made from wooden flowers because we got married out of the country and I needed to be able to ship them. And so I like this a lot. Yes, we're gonna use that. And I wanted to use vintage jewelry. So I used those, made flowers into them and that kind of thing. And so I had a lot of it left over because I just kept buying it and buying it. <laughs> Because I didn't know. I mean, I made all of our bouquets yellow too much. Um, I have this trim, but I just don't know. Let's see what I got in the bucket. I would totally bring this bucket over, but it's just too much. I think we need to use some gold. Look at this. I don't know. Where the, how old this is, but it's been around. Let's just cut a piece of that. And then maybe we can use a couple of these flowers. I don't know why I keep doing everything on the left-hand side, but that's all right. So we can use that. We need something behind there. Um, here's a, we could use... You know, something here. So now we have kind of something gold in all the corners. Not that you need to. Maybe that one doesn't go. I, I kind of like it a little bit odd. Okay, I like that so far. What else? Well, it's got a little lavender in it. Let's see, do I have any? Oh, I do have this. It's pretty, it's pretty purpley though. Let's see just what it looks like. I mean, and look how just, I mean, this was very modern wallpaper. Well, I'm always going to say no to the purple, to the, but it actually probably looks okay. I need to use it up. I should just try to use it. And I do have some gold, too. Which means the gold will offset that. But yeah, I don't know what my problem is today. I got. I have to do my first, like I said, my first um, Sewing Notion Sunday video when I'm done with this one. And I'm like, gosh, hope I can even, like, really do a tutorial. I mean, I'm struggling just crafting along, but I don't know. I think I just have my head in, in my, I'm just thinking about too many things, you know. 
I'm probably, I probably have the sads a little bit. I don't like that with the gold. And maybe I just don't want the gold. Then maybe that's better. Which is probably the case since my little guy is. <clears throat> oh, I have an idea. I've got an idea. I think it will work. Let's just add this over the top. Just to break that up. Let's do it this way. That way I can cut the, that I don't want off. Do this this way. So it's just a whole lot of mishmash of things. And then what if, what if we use one of those stick pins? Oh, wait. Does this have anything I could put it on? Put on it? I have no idea. That came from a broken necklace, but... All right, let's just get this down and then we'll deal with the rest later. Um, yeah, I, I feel like I need a vacation. <laughs> but then, you know, we just got... We just got Demi's scheduled just today. It just came out uh, for softball. And actually, the fall schedule is not that bad. Um, it's underneath the elbow pin. Goodness. Okay, I want to do something. With I kind of like that. just a little bit throw it together and have a little fun with it uh we could no I'm, I'm saying no to the gold okay I need that to sit on there a little bit oh I know what else we could maybe use we've got these these are from my friend Tiffany and they're flat backed so let's see what we have they might be too a little too iridescent. Yeah, I think they might be. Yep, yeah, not, they don't quite go. And I'm guessing that the white ones are the same. Uh, we could do, we're going to do the pin. Let's just put this on. And that's just an earring back because this is just a straight pin. But if you wanted, you could, um, once you got it into place, and if you didn't want anything to happen with it, you could just clip that off with, you know, a pair of clippers like this, which I'll just do. I'm doing this over the garbage. There you go. So now it's just flat. And you can still stick this on if you want. That looks cute. I feel like we needed an another ribbon on it. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> hmm. I'm not doing the gold this time. I don't know. I just want to use that because it's just been laying around. Uh, let's just maybe call well call it good. I think what I'll do is make this one into a tag as well. I think I made them all into tag. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Actually, no, I'm not because I don't have any journal cards and or things that I can use for pockets with this page. So it's probably best if I don't. Uh, that way, I have at least something. I can use for that. So that was easy peasy and so much fun. And the cool part about it is, you know, if you do it to actually make a mini journal, now look at this is what it those look like before. 
Look how cute they are. They don't even look like this modern wallpaper. I love this. <laughs> and then we have that one. And then this little beauty. And there we have it. A little decorating with our mass make of our uh, master boards for Wallpaper Wednesday. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and that you have a fabulous rest of your day. Uh, as always, just remember to take time to just be and we will see you on the next video actually on Sunday. So tune in so that you can be a part of Sewing Notion Sunday. Cheers, everyone.